All right, everybody. Welcome to the stream for today. Got uh, Redcoats versus Ghost. The grand final going off today, and we are just a minute and a half from the match starting here. Yep. So welcome everybody to the stream. So uh, we've got uh, Doc East as well as Prize Fighter and Oakley here today for uh, our squad lead commentators, and uh, these guys will be popping in and out and uh, commentating for the day. Got two matches. Uh, so yeah, we are very excited here for the grand final of our tournament. And uh, we're just about a minute away here. Should be good to see how how both these teams play out with this uh, with this grand final round. Ghost and Ghost and Redcoats both are both very 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 good teams. And you're going to see a lot of very aggressive pushes from both sides. And you're going to see a lot of that. I'm hoping to see a lot of that stuff cancel each other out, just like uh, was it Redcoats and. Um, was it uh, CML that one that the one round? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Rikos and CML. That was a, that was a very fantastic round. Both because both teams are very very aggressive and very um, always, always trying to press each other's weaknesses and strengths. So I want to see that. Hopefully, we see that happen here with Ghost and Redcoats. Redcoats are playing Ghostbusters right now. Really? There we go. So we are playing on Korra too. Yep. And uh, like Redcoats are going to be doing a uh, fob spawn here. So they've got three guys coming out of main, and uh, they'll be putting fobs down and having their full team spawn in on fobs and rallies here. Kind of a trick that we see a lot of these guys use in order to save that stamina, um, because you can get fresh legs in. Of course, that's going to change pretty quickly once we get uh, once we get vehicles and. Yeah, that's that's about to comment on that as well too. You're going to see some of these uh, these little tactics come out. It's going to be pretty interesting too to see uh, the changing of the tactics between that and others as well. Once more mechanics get slowly implemented by the devs, it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool. Um, being able to like look back at all this footage like later on down the road and be hey, that's how it used to be. Those no vehicles and whatnot. Kind of like kind of like the old days when we had, you know we come to play on the weekends and we couldn't go prone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, just before this match was starting, we were commentating with each other, um, just talking about um, how best to cover this map because it is so huge, um, as we were talking about. And we definitely, we usually see, um, especially squads splitting up in terms of uh, the, the AOs that they're operating in, um, but also even within um, squads, you have fire teams that start to form as well because Korra is just such a huge map that it's kind of uh it's it really comes out of territory control who can who can Check act big down. and uh yeah, utilize down. every uh, single asset the that they have east. definitely using every asset they have and using you know playing their strengths and weaknesses to those those classes and, uh, and and tying that in with the actual objectives and the terrain features and and stuff like that um around around those objectives is usually what you start seeing in Korra. That's why that's why chorus chorus my one of my personal favorites actually because of because of that you know, there's so many just long sight lines and so many different positions that you know that will lock down an area to keep enemy movement um, from from being able to do anything so that's that's one reason why I, I personally love chorus so much. And it's like that forever map too. I mean, look at OP first light as well. Um. That was kind of an accidental map too. That was originally just supposed, supposed to be a test map, and it just right. kind of <laughs> kind of come into its own now. And that's one of one of the favorites of everybody. Right. You know, like I wish I still had some footage from before. I'm sure somebody does of the old school forest back in the day when it was so so thick. Oh like right, just, yeah. Yeah. You would run into enemies left and right, and now like take that and then just overlay that on what OP, OP what now is called OP First Light. You know, you can see that the drastic changes. Yeah, uh, didn't they even have a night variant at some point for that? Yeah, yeah, there was definitely a night variant. It's PT inducing, PTSD inducing variant. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it, you know, seeing the tactics change here shortly too. From when we start getting more mechanics, it's gonna be the same thing as like looking old forest to now. 
All right, about to get contact here. Yep, I'm floating over bats and woolly out here in front. Cheese grater as well, boys. Keep your eyes cheese grater. Oh, got it. It's alright. Team kill there. Down in 10 seconds. RPG cheese grater, boys. So, Red Coast pushing along that creek line there, trying to get in the mullet's point. Or, I'm sorry, hemp farm. I'm so used to calling it from the old core. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks like they're split right now. I've got that fob there down to the south. Contact there, boys, on my position close to the fob. Let's go, look at my way to you Down. From, from. South, I believe, mate. South, south. 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 Creek bed there, this all the foliage, the, the hemp farm, uh, yeah, it's kind it's of been stolen up pretty well. Yeah, we're all down there, on this That's FLB. Right. Yeah, most of these guys are down. Medic's doing yeah. their best to get them back up. Kind of been stealing me right there just now. The did some damage to Ghost, same thing with, uh, with uh, Red Coast. I've got Scavi going down, trying the to clear that fog, hold your spawns. Ghost taking in a red code fob to the north. I'm sorry, it's to the southwest. Watch our sticks. Peace out. Uh, I do see that. They're going to get that fob. There's, there's nobody nearby to, to stop them besides Scavi, unless he can pull a. As soon as that fob goes down. You use the clutch right here to take out four guys. Yeah, copy, copy. Not saying it's impossible, but. It'd be pretty impressive if he does. We've got a rally uh, on uh, our defend side. Do you want my guys to spawn in at the D and just make sure we aren't going to get cheeky back down? Fob up, fob up. Right. Because there's that fob, Foxtrot, uh, we'll push. We're going to Foxtrot 6. Spawn in on your rally, Ross. I'm yep. Hit, uh, Hempel, right there in the center of their forces. Looks like they're still going to use, they're trying to use that fob to launch their attack here onto Hemp Farm, which is in control of Ghost right now. Japs, Mortful's coming in southwest, Grumpy's body, West Medic. Yeah, copy, but. I cleared, cleared his body. You smoke Let's get in that fucking cap. Got a couple ghost guys kicking out to the north here. Uh, they're shipping around to the towards the defense flag. It looks like Russ and his boys see him, though. Yeah, they're trying to ninja cap, but Red Coast are prepared for that. I hear you got a squad back waiting for it, so they're engaging these guys at the north now. A little three-man squad. Red smoke yeah. to your guys, north, northwest somewhere. Watch out, you got enemies trying to filter through ones and twos. Yeah, copy that. Blitz, come with me, mate. Get, get with some of your boys, come with me. Let's get in that fucking <gasps> compound. Yeah, yeah, pushed we should up get north and south. Pushing with you. Pretty good cows coming in, Red Coots. 
Yeah, we can hear them coordinating this attack there. Huge amount of forces there on top of their fob. Japs, throw the shit out of it, mate, before you go in. Just about ready to get inside this compound here. Southwest entrance is covered. Yep. Ghost doing a good job of keeping these entrances locked down. See these guys holding their angles, not budging and relying on their other uh, teammates there, you know, to cover their cover their angles. Check out to Squad 3's rally. Squad 3's rally got multiple insurgents around the smoke. Moving on your rally now. Right, another ghost squad moving on that fob. That's uh. Box 5, key 2. Small little squad pushing to the north right there. Trying to hit those redcoats guys because from behind. Um, slowly starting to work their way into hemp farm. Got a pretty good little half and half split right now for redcoats. Uh, got half, approximately Small half their guys two. defending, half of them attacking. Pretty, pretty balanced stance there. Ross, are you looking on that D? D is looking fan, D is fan. Copy that. Do you want to send Cricks and Creeps north? See if they can uh, come in on the north side of the house. I'll send them up, I'll send them up. Copy. Wait, what's getting in him farm? Redcoat's calling up right now that they've, that fob they've got, their hasty fob they sent down in, uh, in Fox 5 to keep pushing that attack, uh, the ghost has just located clear, it. So, clear. they're just kind of thinking about moving it here pretty quickly. And, uh, kind of whatever guys are left. Whatever ghost, ghost guys are left. And we're down 254 tickets here for Reds. How's the uh, tickets looking on the ghost side? Uh, 281 tickets for the ghosts. Alright, so 281 to 253, pulling up the uh, kills and deaths here. 27 to 19 there for Coast. Cricks and Creeper are coming in from your north. Copy that, copy scene. And the red goes five and uh, Fox Five is getting getting pushed pretty hard right now. Yep. Yeah, it's hot as fuck. Let's have to go down. Uh, close to the pub, uh, I think southeast. We get a little back and forth here. We think the team is really kind of making much headway as far as terrain and, and objectives. And it's pretty, pretty solid little, little gridlock going. Yeah, absolutely. Spawn. Spawn. He's saying spawn. Yeah, uh, that's the north compound's locked down. If we're gonna cap it, we're gonna have to fucking go with what we said. Sorry, Matt. I didn't hear you. Uh, hey, looks like Red put them off that that, oh, that fob of there, so they're gonna regain that. Uh, probably go. start digging it here. Yeah. Probably gotta move quickly though, because a lot of ghost guys are just sending on them right now. I'm taking this FOB down, moving it north. Yep, they're moving it. To my south, to my south, to my south. Shit, I got naded. Right, I reckon we just fuck this up will be on. Woolly seems to think they might be spawning to the south somewhere, Fox Rot 6.
Still pushing back and forth. Yeah. What's Intermingled. A, what's the saying on local? It might be worth it just to give up on this fob, move elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely thinking of that. Might not get there fast enough. Though. All right, mate, I'm going to go put a fob to the uh, west northwest of this flag. You have to be quick, mate, we've been wiped out. Just get right, up on bang the it fucking down flag. I'm just going to bang it down now. I'm banging it down now. Oh, yeah, yeah, just get it down so we can spawn in. It's down, it's down, it's down. Copy, take it down and ASAP. Oh, you want me to take it down, yeah? Yeah, take it down. We're gonna try and flank. Alright, Red Coast trying something else here. You hit the north, right, okay, we'll hit direct. Yeah, it yeah, looks like a big flank coming from them, although Dolphin yeah. got eyes on there. And he goes Just down. North north, yeah. Good shot from Deffy there. That's, a, that's definitely that, that northern route. Um, this is, those lanes that I always mentioned before, too, in, uh, in previous rounds is... Like core two, you know, it runs it runs east west, and uh, this that north side that Red Coast is taking right now, um, Gavi and Sober and Jeffside and all them, um, it's a very very good lane to push all the way to the uh, to the east or west depending on what side you're on. It's a very good avenue to to move back and forth between objectives. It's a little bit off of the objectives. That's what you want. You don't want to running right around. Right. right. Um, you're pretty you're pretty safe from the north side. All you got to worry about is just the west and east, well, and that uh, actually being enveloped in flank. Two hundred seven tickets, red coats. Yeah, two hundred seven here. How's uh, ghost looking, Charlie? Uh, two hundred and thirty-seven. Uh, thirty-three. Two thirty-three. All right. Certainly, still. Uh, both teams definitely still in it here. Yeah, yeah. Again, we're playing um, full core matches, so these are going to be pretty long rounds, uh, very intense all the way through. It wouldn't be so bad for for Rickles right now. This, those fobs, they, those two fobs they just lost. You know, just brought them down so much. You know, there's being thirty tickets down right now. That goes to show you how how just how important those fobs are. You place them in bad, you know, questionable positions, bad positions. You know, you, you lose them. It's it's pretty essential. Yep. Keep those things protected. So Rickles wouldn't be wouldn't be so far behind right now. It'd be only a ten ticket difference roughly. You know, if they hadn't have lost those yeah, two fobs. Very, very right now. Very, very so. Right now. Definitely a lesson to be learned for for everybody on that, you know, especially playing in public matches and everything. Seeing seeing bad fob placements will, will cost you the round. And that'll be an extension, you know, that'll extend into vehicles and mortar pits and and all that stuff. Once it does get definitely added into the game, all that's going to have um, um, point bleeds uh, to them. So the guy yeah, that takes think... the tank and drives carelessly into the um, AT, you know. It's going to be the same yeah, as losing the fob. Things are going to get a lot slower when more, more mechanics get, get, get implemented. It's, it's, it's kind, of, kind of ironic, you know, if vehicle's going to get in, you're going to be able to move around fast, however, but the game itself is going to be a little bit slower. Right. Oh, shit, not a little bit, a lot. Um, and that goes for everything, too. Movement, everything. It's going to be a lot less twitchy. Bunch of bonus chaps. A lot more slow, methodical, you know. Ross, stand by east, northeast. They're going to be coming in that way with Jack. Yeah, this game is going to be pretty, pretty insane once you add in helicopters and vehicles and all. I mean, all that stuff. The whole finished product. Seems clear. It's just going to be. I mean, there's just going to be nothing like it to cover to cover exactly. a game like that. Can imagine just looking, you know, hovering over the spawn and you know, okay, looks like we're taking two Humvees, helicopters yep. up, you know, APCs yep. ready to go. I mean, it's just oh, you got the squad four over here calling for trans and seeing the helicopter come and pick that squad up and move them to a different location yep. on the battlefield. You don't you don't see that kind of stuff, you know, on that level. And, and just the coordination you hear in, in amongst the squad leaders all the time too. It's it, it's just amazing, especially when you're when you're on that level actually playing that. And you're calling for another player, you know, you call up and you're calling in mortars for another player to hit and they respond and you see rounds coming in and you're walking rounds in on somebody. And it's all, it's all the players you're playing with. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Well, you know, and it's, it's kind of hard to find a, a way to describe that to people because yeah. it, it's technically not a milsim game. Um, you know, like Arma, for example. 
Um, right. But it definitely still retains, obviously, the realism real slow, um, like of the combat the experience um, that pulls from Arma. So it's kind of like a, you could say maybe an arcade simulator uh, or something like that, but it really is yeah. kind of a new genre of, um, you know, you're not <laughs> you're not doing the whole walking simulator with, with Arma. Um, you know, you kind of get rid of all that um, empty time that you're spent getting the whole simulated experience and you're, you're replacing that with this, uh, this heated combat. Uh, and that's what I love about it. It's, it's like the condensed yeah. moment moments exactly. of, uh, military simulators all combined into one. So you can see, you can see Red Cross shooting down to the Lovely. south now. So the majority of the fighting is actually shooting down to the south now. Ghost is holding strong on hemp farm. Enemy fob, Red Cross has found enemy fob. So they're gonna start seeing Absolutely. them push that really hard now. Take that fob down. That's gonna bring things a little bit more even for redcoats. I heard ninety closer. tickets here for uh, for the reds. Yeah. Ghost is sitting at two five Jump, six tickets. All right. Roach. Your blitz on comms talking about that fob. What, was, what were they at again? I'm sorry. Two something. Two hundred and fifty five. I've got you now. <clears throat> lull here. <laughs> yeah, certainly a little bit of a lull. A lot of these <laughs> red coats concentrated down south here and we don't see uh ghosts chasing them anywhere. Blitz, can you deal with us if we keep pushing? Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. You have to take that advantage quickly here. You're gonna be aggressive. Um the amount of guys are leaving back on the on the defense right now for you know ghost has the capability to push that really hard if they want. But it looks like they're just kinda hunkering down and and just letting them come. They don't seem to be trying to push anywhere. We have been bled a bit here. Yeah. We might need to make a massive uh, push shortly. Yeah, we're we'll going down. Did you get that fob just now, yeah? Ross, tell your boys that are working down that river, cricks and that, they're in the cheese grater on the roof. Cheers, cheers. James is pushing you now. Smoke is still there. Yep, looks like they're slowly working their way up. I think they're looking for any more fobs down there. Haven't seen Ghost cross this uh, this river Ghost, except for uh, Envy the there. But yeah, Ghost yeah. Ghost in a very defensive posture as uh, Redcoats kind of reorganize their forces down south of Hemp Farms. Uh, we got two guys down, but the medic's still up. He's trying to get them up. Redcoats, I mean, Redcoats, I'm sorry. Ghost is slowly creeping their way towards, uh, towards the defense flag right now. Working their way through. They're getting slowed down a little bit. They got a couple of couple Redcoats guys are hanging out between them and the, uh, the attack flag, so they're Kind of slowing down their roll, you know, wounding a few of them, getting them slowed down enough for uh, buying some more time for the rest of the guys to push up. Yeah, Redcoat's pushing across that river now. Wow. Yep. Ghost, uh, they must have been spotted before, because Ghost was kind of shifting with them as they move across. 
Are you getting on, Japs? But, uh, it's a pretty solid little push from Ghost right now. Push that the river to the west. Yeah. And towards out of the defense flag right now on Creep Farm. Use, again, use that little lane, pretty much. That, that creek bed, yep. the foliage. On their way to Grape Farm. So, let's see, as they get to that wall, I know Redcoats are waiting for that, so they're waiting for it to see what happens. So. RPG on the roof. He's on the uh, western Thank roof, western roof. Thank you. Watch out, close to your rally, uh, Blitzer, northwest where Woolly is now, he's down. Alright, we're clearing the cheese grater now, Japs. If you can get your squad here, let's go. Go yeah, shifting so off a little bit to kind of stop that Redcoat's little Most swing to the southeast. The river at the moment. We have uh, possible another spawn point. Somebody it's pulled a few guy, ghost guys off of, uh, off of Hemp Farm, so they're slowly trying to creep in. Yeah, good little push there yeah. from uh, yeah. what's a squad there, getting into that cheese grater building, pushing those ghost guys out of there. Like I said before, it's kind of a, it's kind of a you know, Dips is gonna neutralize each other back and forth as far as stopping each other's pushes Blitz. and... Almost dissipating where both sides are going, and yeah. it's, it's starting to, it's looking like that right now. Rusty K squad pulled back to the defense flag, and there's a small little ghost squad is working their way there. And it's just kind of been back and forth, one team pushing, uh, pushing a spot, you know, team massing right there to stop it. And it's kind of like that back and forth right now. It's just what, the two pivotal moments right now, I think, this this far of the game was those two fives that Red Coast lost early in the round. Um, that, that kind of set the tone for the rest of the round. Ross, still no contact there? Negative, negative. Po right, copy that, push out north. Real far north, green move marker area. Push along that fucking north ridge, coming from the north. Gotta make a push for it now. Alright, you wait, I'll, I'll respawn. Ah! Sounds like they're, they, they may be trying to push... North again. I don't know. Let's see how this plays out here. Um, see how this works. Ghost just—they seem to be content just to, just to, to hunker down and, and hold on to the point and not try to do anything. That insurgent just came up on the day as we were leaving and dropped me. <laughs> Copy. You know something you mentioned too about Cora being being so big. Um, yeah. I kind of want to bring light to that. Yeah. Just 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 wait until we start seeing larger maps. Like. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we're white, so we're really... <laughs> People think Cora's big now. Yeah. yeah just wait, wait till later on the road when we start getting larger maps. Right. You know, on the SDK <laughs> 1.0 release just very recently here. Oh man. We've already got people making maps and stuff, and yeah, I think that's one of the things is you know once you get once you get air units in. Um. You know, I was watching the off-world industry stream, and Iron Taxi was talking over there um, about about planes. That they don't have a map that's really big enough to properly utilize planes and have a dogfight, you know, with with different um, types of planes and stuff. Um, but he said it's it's definitely possible. I mean, you know, Unreal Engine they can make maps up to that big, uh, that up to that size. So it's really just a matter of getting the uh, the the assets in the engine and developing the flight models, and you could have. Dog fights going on while people are battling on the ground. I mean, that yeah. that would be very interesting to see. It's just it's the combined personally for me. It's, it's the combined arms thing that gets me, and I know it's the same way for a lot of other people too. Right, like that uh, that experience of, you know, we're, we're pinned down. There's nothing that we can do. We've got to mm -hmm. call in casts, you know, and and then you've got your yeah. pilot 
he's feeling up at base and he's he's going in and you're giving him coordinates and coordinating with him and uh, yeah like you said that combined arms it uh just heightens the realism so much more oh yes absolutely and it, i know it's the same it's it's even better for those guys who like that are dedicated like to fly or play apc or armor when you've got a squad of, of, of uh, infantry on the ground it's just panic calling you over the radio telling you where's the enemies at like, you guys are getting hit so hard you can barely hold yeah and it's almost like this mutual thing because the infantry guys on the ground they love it when you start seeing cast come in they're just strafing or mortar rounds start coming in you're walking walking mortar rounds in and um and just just both sides of that. Yeah, it's definitely calling, a, in, calling in mortars, and then the mortar team call are dropping those mortars for another, yeah, another friendly squad, and seeing and seeing results like there's there's not much else like it. It definitely like allows so many war stories from, from right PR and in squad, and it allows people to just like specialize in what they like, what they really like, and then you just see. I mean, you just see people that are like, uh, you know, I'm just a helo pilot, and that's all they spend their time doing, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, they just enjoy the hell out of it. I love that guys, aspect. The guys just running trans and running in lodgies. Yeah, you know, that's all I did in VR. <laughs> yeah. I remember just being a, guys. I remember just being a truck driver. That's all I care about. I mean, they're they're totally content with just driving yep. across the entire map, just cruise around a truck, chop enough crate, just yep. and rinse lather, repeating that over and over and over yep. and over again. Those guys, lodgy bros, man, running back and forth. Yeah, and they fall into the the whole character of it. You know, oh, you're gonna. Yep. You're gonna get your blood and bullets in the back of my truck and mess stuff up, you know. Oh, those are the yeah. good experiences. Bullet push from Ghost to the north side, but uh, red coats are prepared for that. So you know, again, this is just kind of a, you know, move and counter move and counter kind of round, just just like I'd, I'd foreseen here. Both teams trying to make a push somewhere, and the other team will will counter it and stop it and vice versa. Yeah, we're going to try and hit them. Yeah, we're at 133 them. tickets here for red coats. How are we looking over there on the ghost side? 230 tickets. Okay. So 100 ticket difference here. Russ, just get ready to absorb the shit out of this pressure, mate. Yeah, we're starting to get flanked and north and south as well here at the moment. It's northeast and southeast. Yeah, so that's Russ there on the D. It's not a low starting to call low in low contacts, low. getting lots of contacts. We see this big, wide Redcoats flank here. Yeah. You gotta be careful with those kind of long flanks like that. You know, I, I was playing around about a week or so ago and I had something like that happen. Um, Said it was a good idea to drop the very on this the very same layer. Um, so we had the, the the idea of dropping the very 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 south end of the map, and saying that they were flanking and dropping a fob in the very bottom, very very southern tip of the map. You know, it's kind of like you scratch your head, face palm, and, and shake your head, yeah, and wonder why. Um, you got to be kind of careful when you do those kind of large large sweeping movements. Um, what they're doing sometimes you gotta sometimes there's a, a risk reward actually all the time there's a risk reward thing there but pushing that far south it leaves it leaves your defend flag very very open especially if you move out there with such a large force you take all your resources away oh. from attacking or defending um, it might pay off it might not so that's when it comes down to the risk reward thing but a team that knows what they're doing will be aware of that and kind of shift guys that direction to kind of to stop that pressure and uh, that's what Ghost seems to be doing kicking a couple guys there. But if you see just east of a uh, hemp farm right now, they got a four, looks like four or five little squad, or, yeah, four or five man little squad over here. Enemy fob's going down. They're pushing further out to the northeast, because they know, I don't think Ghost is going to be expecting oh, anything coming over there. Hickman on top oh. of a uh, Ghost yeah, fob here. Quick. We're getting hit on the D, they're right Ooh. outside. So he's, he's taking that down, but uh, Russ calling for support back at main, or back on their defense flag, getting hit pretty hard there. Can I get an FOB up here behind him? Well, the defend flag's getting hit pretty rough right now. Yep. You can see a couple ghost if, guys trying to spawn if, in. Yeah, if Blitzen and his, his squad push into um, him farm right now, we might have a double neutral they situation, but they gotta go fast. Inside, yeah, but they the are. The defend flag for Redcoats is getting hit really hard. We're gonna lose yeah, and Ghost has already spawned in uh, half, a, half a squad there on their fob that was going down. They were able to just kind of spawn in and overwhelm the Redcoats there. I'm zooming back over to the D for Redcoats. In the cap now, you chaps? We've ju we've just been wiped. That fob is still in the field. I'll mark Copy. it. 
They're inside the D, we're getting dropped. Rally down, rally down, we need people on the D. We need people oh, on the D. Bollocks. We're gonna Copy try and get back from the back. Yep. Blitz Red Coast pulling guys back to the defense flag as fast as they can. This is where that risk reward thing comes in, like I, I, was, I was speaking about. Right. You know, it, it might be a good idea to pull those guys back, but at the same time, uh, you, gotta, you gotta take a step back and ask yourself, are you leaving vital objectives and vital terrain open for the enemy to take? So you really gotta be aware of what's going on. That's, that's just one small thing that's going on in a squad leader's head. You know, there's a million things going down at the same time. You know, that's why it's very pivotal. You know, for for squad mates to stick close to your squad leader, listen to your squad leader. You know he's gonna have to worry about it. He's gonna be hand holding anybody else the entire time. So that's something the squad leader's gotta be aware of is is what's going on in the map at large. You know, it's just the situational awareness around you, the situational awareness that your guys is giving you, what you see, and then the bigger picture and what's going on in the entire map. So people's always giving squad leaders a hard time for for doing stuff but at the same time either they're not they're afraid to step up and they don't want to take that as, that responsibility or they don't realize and are kind of oblivious to what the squad leader has to has to take care of um during any given round I don't speak on squad leader role very much I'm always talking about you know other support classes and stuff like that right they focus every once in a while that's certainly a very hard position to fill. <laughs> oh, it's definitely. That's why nobody likes to do it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people like to do it. You know, a lot of people are very, very zealous about it. Some people are overzealous about it and take it a little bit too far. Um, and some, you know, it, and not all squad leaders, obviously, you know, it's the same way for everybody. They're as experienced as others. So sometimes you got to take some of the grain of salt. You know, some just aren't at the same experience level as others. Made. You can't always blame things on the squad leader as well, too, when things go wrong. Oh, shit, Sometimes it's, it's just um, the guys that actually inside of your squad are actually running off, run, running off doing things they aren't supposed to do and not right. paying attention or listening. And it'll be the, the, the squad leader's just an easy scapegoat. Like, oh, hey, you know, you didn't tell us to come over here, or, you know, you didn't have that power. It's like, well, we kind of weren't listening. <laughs> so. Yeah. Everybody's got to work together. The Red Coast shifting small guys back over to the defend flag. I don't know if I'm going to take this back. Hundred and two tickets here for the Reds. Ghosts are sitting on two hundred and twenty. Two hundred and twenty tickets there, okay. Like Red Coast getting a uh, getting Grape Farm back under control. Gonna kind of reset oh, you're on the, D -boys. You're the map tactically and strategically here. Like we kind of see a yeah, shift of a when you see uh, uh, panic defenses like that, Coffee. you see you know everybody pulling back to the defend flag and, and wiping whatever's attacking there. And like I said, you see some kind of a strategic uh, clean slate, so to speak. Uh, you start seeing both teams. Um, um, just kind of shift back to their sides of the map, respectively, and just kind of reset and go at each other again. Guys, another, the another one in the field, southeast, southeast. Just oh, there's a few ghost guys still alive back in the flag. defend flag. He's right there. I think Red Coast may be able to get that back under control. Yep. But again, they're still pushing out to the north, to the southeast as well. So they're trying to keep that push, again, the keep that push going. Um, that risk reward. Oh, let's see, there you go. Neutralizing great farm. <laughs> oh, poor Russ there, running out of ammo. Right as uh, Paradox rounds the corner there for Ghost. And gets him. <laughs> Look, everybody's been in that situation. 
<laughs> where you both you both look each other in the eye and either one person has their weapon down and has got a bandage out or something. You yeah. panic and try to get away. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost with a very solid push into Great Farm. But we're going to issues trying to take it back. 50-60% capped at the moment. We've got multiple down on the fire. Yeah, copy that. We're going to spawn back. Assist. This is their risk-reward. They, they kept trying to push those guys out to the east oh, to keep yeah. attacking uh, the hemp farm. They kind of went 50-50, Red Coast did, as far as uh, defending and attacking here. Anything with uh, with ghost? Like I said, just keeps they just keep countering each other. Yeah. You know, red goes go 50 Ghost goes 50 50. Yeah. Somebody makes a move. Red somebody push makes a counter full move. attack. Ghost pulls full defense. A lot of fighting going on in the D right now for red coats. Elsewhere, very We're scattered. All taking the flag. They're taking the flag. Anything. Pretty spread out squad over here, um, just east of um, Hemp Farm. Yeah, this looks like Blitz out here. If you can get organized and get in there, there's not that many ghost guys guarding that um, that flag. No. But you can they see. might be able to make a push here. And see, those they keep trying to get into the southeast. It's uh, they're slowly working their way in. Yeah, let's we'll go starting to dump out of um, hemp field or what is it? Hemp field or hemp farm? That's hemp farm. Hemp farm. Okay. That red coast. Uh, have... Yeah, ghost is dumping out, pouring assets on that flag that they've just captured. Yep. Um, no, so... uh, what's this guys back there? So now they're they're basically gonna be trying to play catch up the rest of the way in now. Yeah. And it's gonna give ghost a chance to steamroll all the way back to the west. Now finally we're starting to see a little bit of little bit of movement now. <laughs> We were running into some lulls earlier and some, some basic back and forth. Not much yeah. to comment on, but seeing some good stuff now. Yeah, big push as Ghost comes across here. Reds are forced to spawn in all the way back at their main there. Yeah, we're, we've all been wiped here again. <laughs> 41 tickets here. Gotcha. Last part of this match coming into play now. How about a uh, ghost over there? Ghost is sitting on a healthy 213 tickets. Ghost locking down uh, Grape Farm right now, and just pouring guys into that point, just locking it down, just looking to finish the round out here. Puts uh, in his, his squad that he pushed out to the southeast, the Red Coast squad. Uh, trying to, they were trying to or take Hemp Farm a while back, but since they pushed up, now they're, uh, like I said before, just playing catch up. And that gives Ghost the opportunity and, uh, to just, just steamroll back as far as they can, and just keep just driving straight through. And uh, they took advantage of that, so they, they pushed up, took the next flag, and... Yeah, it's just a, a waiting game now. Just a couple of the uh, lawn turbo. So, uh, one slight advantage of playing catch-up like that, when you lose a point, and, uh, 
the enemy team just kind of starts taking off with it and getting away with it. Um, if you if you end up in that position, that, uh, that grumpy anti citizen, let's say Snakeo, all those guys back there, Snakeo, um, getting caught in that position. Sometimes the enemy doesn't exactly know that you're even back there to begin with. Right. So it, it gives you two just two different advantages. You can either come up behind the enemy that's running away from you as they push towards your objectives, or and actually catch them by surprise and hit them there. Or you can do that and turn around and head back to the objective that they just they did, um, you were attacking originally. Um. So it kind of gives you two different advantages there if, if you can get it to play off. If you can get your guys that are on the defending side and still pushing in that flag from um, the opposite end to keep pushing in there and keep trying to take that point. Um, if you're able to do that, you could very easily counter counter that move and just flip it back to the direction. Um, but the, there's a lot of different factors that go into that. Right, I think these ghost guys are a little bit confused on the, exactly how many redcoats are back there. You know, it could just be right. a couple of uh, stragglers. Um, from previous engagements, but uh, in this mm -hmm. case, it's Blitza, and he's got the you know they've got a rally over there, and they are yeah. uh, they, you know they're just, they're pretty much just uh, skirmishing with these guys in the backfield. Yeah, it looks like I was prepared for that as well, though. Too, I mean, you should automatically assume that if you know they're they're moving around you as well, and you see a squad that's going to be caught in that situation, you know, you might as well just have somebody just like looks like it's Saber, Boomer. All these guys back here, you know, uh, anticipating that that's the uh, you know those those guys coming up from from where you had left before, uh, previously. So pretty pretty important to have those guys back there to catch those guys that are trying to catch up to you. Yeah, that's what they did. So Twelve tickets now, for redcoats. Yep, they have caught up quite a bit in terms of kills. Ghost had them three to one at the beginning. Um. But now you can see that that's tightened up. 156 kills for Ghost, 107 there uh, for the Redcoats. But, uh, you know, as you said earlier, Doc, the, those fobs, I think Redcoats probably lost two or three, maybe two uh, fobs, which is just, uh, you know, that's, that's a huge amount of tickets there. Yeah. Ten tickets now. Nice, that's like four or five. Okay. Oh. The first match there, out of the way, Ghost wins. 200 tickets. <laughs> Down. Oh, so we're going to go to intermission here. We have one more match coming up. Another full round of Korra. So stick with us. Um, commentators, I'm going to show some videos. Come back and then we can talk about... Um, I'll bring up TACnet and we can talk about some of the tactics there. So I will be back in just a short while here. Me life. Yep. Yeah. I forgot we are also giving away two squad keys at the end of this stream. If you guys are watching. Stick on to the end, and uh, we'll be giving away two keys. One fifty eight start. Hero, Hero, get out of your squad. Hero, I know. <clears throat> right, gas. Remember, yes. You got your guys ready? Yes, yes. Roger.
25 seconds here. All right, and they're off to the races. Gas, remember where you put in the the, the fob, yep. yeah? Yep. Roger. Wait, Brav. Why are you my glove? Nobody bodies fooling us. Aiming at the place that you don't bust. Go, 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 go. Fob down for ghosts, and they spawn in. Yep. So everybody spawn, Fob's going down. Yeah, take it down. So Ghost spawns her team in on that fob, takes her fob down, and then throws up rallies and has uh, the rest of their team spawn in on rallies. Interesting interesting start for them. Yep. Every team has their own tactics there for the beginning of the match and getting in the AO as quick as possible. Seems to be pretty almost half and half. Half of them going north, half of them going south. See how it works getting into hemp. Stop. Drop. Shut him up. Open up shop. Oh. 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 That's how our off riders roll. I'm a safe sprint. A lot of open ground to sit down to. You're so smart. Thanks, Todd. I'm gonna try and get up here to watch the road as much as I can. Yeah, yeah. Get on the left side of that wall. Rascal, you want the fob right in the close ruins flag or the further ones? First, First contact shot. here. Yep. Yep. They're in the creek bed from Paradox. Rico's kicking out some guys a little bit further west. I think it's a little bit different than what Ghost was doing. Ghost kind of they got straight to him for a hunkered down. Um, looks like they're gonna meet each other a little bit quicker, tiny bit quicker than before. Yo, they're already past the dot. Uh, fucking. Yep, you can hear Ghost right now calling it up right now. They're already, they're already past the hemp part. Oh, right. Yo, yeah, they're pushing past hemp farm. Uh, trying to get into Saddam's. I'm on Ghost Squad at the south still. Looping around. Again, using that riverbed I, I pointed out earlier. Um, you place a fob down here to the south side of the river. You, it's far enough out of the action. Um, it was kind of odd, it's usually, you know, places that far off of points aren't as hot, but, uh, it's pretty consistent on the south side of Encore uh, 2, south of the river down there, is usually pretty hot, where, uh, Fitty Shades and, and ND and all them are coming right now. You drop a fob down there to the south side of the river, and you have a, a, a far enough away, um, fob to push objectives, it's far enough out of, uh, 
out of trouble. Right. But at the same time, the time though, like I said, it's different from other maps where you know, those being that far away from the point, and it, it turns into a little a little fight down here, regardless, no matter what. They've got a lot of guys watching the north. La la la, la continue. Yo, someone feel you was. Gas, try push down. Uh, into Sadar, come along the road. Go on the roof of Sadar. Ghost working their way up right now to to Hemp Farm. I think what's really going to come into play here is that that, that Ghost squad to the south of the river once they try to start heading north. Um, Oh, sorry, There's not many red cars on that south side trying to cover that position. Oh, I'm wow. sure they'll see him trying to cross that river, but they're going to have to pull some resources from another area in order to stop that. So. How's it going? Let's just try and get out of that creek. They're in the darkness. Just we need to get up and stop that shit. Big. Fast. Ghost rushing their guy into into the hemp farm sounds like. Just trying to get in there to stop Red Ghost from capping that point. Sometimes that's what you need. Sometimes, you know, you kinda have to have a Hell Mary as one is capturing a capturing an objective. Rushing your squad into there into a into a good point to stop. Stop it or Yo, stop them from capping or neutralizing it. Fields. They're in the fields north of you. Yeah, city. we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. They're getting some contact south, that's why. I'm splitting through three. Red Cut's capturing him for him. Yeah, but. What are your guys doing in Lilac? Yeah, yeah, contact there. We split three three just to look at it. They're coming back though now. Because they're pushing up the ditch by the fields, trying to get to Grape. So far, same amount of fighting in roughly the same area. I we you know I I anticipated from from uh, the last round. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Same what I'm seeing. The uh, main difference that I've noticed is that uh, the red coats are putting a lot more value in the cheese grater building to the west of Hemp Farm. Mm. Fuck, I'm hit again. God damn it. Okay, hang on. I'm bandaging. I'm bandaging. Yo, we need you in these fields. They're already pushing back towards the That's... That's kind of a testament to, you know, to what I've said before is you don't want to don't necessarily want to hunker down on top of an objective. You, know, you, you definitely want to hold, hold the objective, holding outlying terrain and features and, and buildings um, to inhibit the movement of the enemy into that objective. To keep them from capping it in the first place is what you want to do. So Redcoats, and the same thing with Ghost, they, they slowly pushed out and did the same thing last round, holding that cheese grater to the west of, uh, of Hemp Farm. It's a very, very key position because you can see a pretty good amount of stuff all around there, and you're just a big you want us to fall speed back bump to the flag? To, in the way of the actual objective. So well, can you not push? No, we can, but we keep we're burning the fields. Ghost trying to negotiate push. here. This uh, this red coast defense. If you can, get, if you get a lot of good comments from them trying to figure out where to get in. Yeah, back and back and forth from squad leaders. Yeah, we'll try. He's on the. They literally <clears throat> try and get everyone or after the point. Okay. That ghost squad from the south of the river came up. Uh, let's see if they're pushing those red coats out of that cheese grater to the west. Okay, you got him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, heal me up. I'm gonna peek this sniper. <laughs> Gil's kind of uh, massing their forces. Those in Saddam, watch east, that east uh, courtyard. I'm gonna put his head down. Yeah, I'm noticing. I think these ghost guys—they have their own callouts for different uh, 
Compound. Their own custom Enemy names for some of these compounds and buildings. What's up? Alright. Yep. Can you hear real quick? They're north of us. Yeah, yeah. Big push, let's go. Joe's making a big push in at the point. Redos, they're gonna get overrun. They don't they'll mass some guys in there and try to stop this push. Yo, get Boomer to push north and there's a. Get in gas and get a hold. Yo, we're going on that chicken flag. Push, push, push. Guy in my body. I think he's got him. I'm not sure where I got shot, but he was really close. Just heard Wilhelm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I talked to a, uh, a squad dev who told me it's like a 1 in 4,000 chance that that gets played. And I've heard it now twice on our stream. <laughs> doesn't Red sound like the Redcoats. Sorry, it doesn't sound like the Redcoats quite know how badly they've got it right now. From their comms, it doesn't sound like they they know how many ghost guys are on the point right now. They've killed yeah. the... Get him out of him. Ghost is definitely capping head farm. Uh, Red Coats are about to rush in. This might. Let's push, see how Red Coats can get this back. Push. If they can push. If Ghost gets pushed out of here, Not they don't got enough guys back on the defend flag to, to stop that ninja squad Wait, that's going around to the, to the northwest right now. Just get a hold on the east side. Yeah, we're pushing south and pushing east. So this is going to come down to, to, to speed right now. Who's Which team wants it bad enough? Gas, smoke off the entrance. Yeah. Yep, yep. If, if Red Coast don't get in there and stop Ghost, Ghost is going to cap this point. Yep, absolutely. Longer, again, with the speed and, and, and violence of action here, because the longer you wait on, a, on making a, a move, and the longer you neglect to have to try and take the initiative, you know, the further on your heels you're going to get right and, uh oh, it's just yeah, this more time that the ghost isn't under up. pressure on hemp farm right now they're going to cap that point and then anything you're going to try and pull out oh, to the west on, on grape farm hey, that here, uh, blitz is trying to do right now it's not going to pay off it's, it's going to be a same definitely the same kind of situation as it was last round just trying to play catch up and chase up behind him um i think we should think uh we got another fob i'll stay on your so ass, come. so come with me uh we should have another fob in our mind. Yeah. If you find a good spot, uh, we gotta push it further away though. I know. No, no, no. I know. I know where. I know where. Can you bandage him? Do you have any bandages? The sword that the sword that I marked. Yep. At G five, keep her seven. We'll put one there. It? There's a red coat yeah. squad. It's back on the defense flag right now. But uh. Again, I'm going to comment on the initiative piece, you know, you don't get in there fast enough, you don't get into the defend flight fast enough. Trying to defend a ninja at a point like that, it's not going to work. East. Um, they're pushing it now, so... Okay. We're, going to we're going to hold the south, southeast. You guys will hold the north. I think, so, I think Ghost is going to capture this point before uh, Red Coast are able to, to, to do much, unless they rush some guys in there right now. Yeah, just not enough bodies here for the Reds. Right. Starting to get inside the cap, you can see there. Quite a few Ghost guys down in this cap. Let's get a full squad in there. That could change the game there. Gas, I think we're coming the east side of the camp farm. Not yeah. 100%. They're in the northeast side. Yeah, good calls on comms from Ghost here. I need the Calling that out. The redcoats are coming in from the northeast side of this compound. Might get a double neutral here if Red Coast can get enough guys to, to inside that cap, they might stop them for they're doing it. Smokes. Yeah, gas smokes coming in from northeast. And the, did you say they're on Saddam's? Hunter found All a bomb. So 
the, on the defense flag right now, Blitz's squad, he's got a ninja, and, uh, a ninja cap squad out there. They found that, uh, that ghost fob that's out there, so they're about to take that down. But I don't think, unless ghosts can hold on to that point, uh, they're going to yeah, cap that. It's going to make it irrelevant for him. Oh, there you go. Nice work, boys. Gash, just talk. We're going for that fob. Do it, do it. Copy. So, ghost sounds like they found a red coat's fob, I think. It's just somewhere in that area, Fiddy. He was within the zone over there. It might be further north. Copy, copy. 266 for a ghost. Uh, 245 for a kids. It's about to change here in a second. They're about to take a... Red Coast are taking that 5 out to the west. Saber dive. Yeah, you can see that call out there on team chat. Yep. Yeah, that, that that's that goes to show okay, about the to about get, ghost, get, you know, and other uh, other clans uh, paying attention to right the enemies that might be behind you. That's a ghost writing that fob off. They flank us, we can counter them with forward pressure. Fob should be in our top of our mind. Two fifty five ghost. If you take that that's a, push let's take it to red coats. Uh two forty one. And fucking oh, fob down in there. Very it's close here. Yep, that fob. Yep. Ghost is a very solid lock on Hemp Farm right now. Red Coast are just uh, just unable to get in here and make any kind of headway on Hemp Farm. Gash. Gash, keep eyes west as well. I just killed dudes coming in behind us. Are you guys taking heavy losses on the cap? No, we're okay. We, we need a rob or something. Yo, I'm gonna put a fob down in these ruins up here. I was but gonna put a fob down in the south. Right. Do it, do it then. If you can do it quicker, do it now. Do it good. Red Coast defending their fob and pushing ghosts really tough right my here. Uh, 248. Yeah, pussy in my crack. Let's go. 248 tickets for ghost. Gash, careful of west. They've already... Copy. Ghost still holding on to, to hemp farm here. Red Coast seen. Very, very intent on keeping the pressure on him here. Ghost hasn't been able to push out quite yet. There's some guys pushing out to the north. Yep. Um, also kind of stragglers out to the south. And it seems uh, Ritko's keeping guys out on uh, on Grape Farm, waiting for the rest of their guys to capture uh, Hemp, but I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. The amount of guys Ghost has in here right now, they're going to keep holding this point until Ritko's make a, make a harder push on Hemp Farm. Hey, Fiddy, they're in the north side of the compound here. What? Hey, guys. Hemp fall. Yeah. They're inside oh, the wind fields to provide support. If they're on cap, you need to let us know. Yeah, quicker than that. They just, they just pushed in, man. Right, because slowly working their way in. Into hemp farm here. There's a ghost fob in, uh, G6, Key 8. They're spawning off into the south of the river. They're gonna keep working their way up. Yeah. Very good position to push that, that red coast fob in G5. We're coming, boys. The red coast gotta be, be careful of that. Plus, trying to push that point at the same time. That might be... It might be enough for Ghost to kind of gain control back of the situation instead of being kind of kind of in a panic there. In there. Yeah, Red's in a risky position here. I mean, I still see these guys off there in um, Grape Farm. Right. No, you know, at what point did you tell them to, to fall back? You know, I mean, if you're not going to be able to just get inside this objective pressure. and cap it, it looks like the Reds are kind of preparing for a steamroll, but I'm not sure that they're going to be able to have 
um, the necessary manpower um, mm -hmm. in, to know, initiate it. To, yeah, to initiate right. it. Uh, you can see Paradox there. Uh, there's some comms coming out of him. He actually kicked back out to the west because once they lost their fob out to the west, they noticed that you know there's probably an enemy squad out there. So he kicked out there just to see if they're coming from that direction. Um, seems like he's. I don't know if he sees anything coming back over there now, but he just back there almost act this as a sensor to see if anybody's coming back from that west side. But I think uh, he's pulling back now. So Red Coast might might need to start thinking about just doubling up on the cap instead of trying to think too far ahead. It seems to be working kind of, but it's not quite enough. I think Ghost is still able to counter it and keep them from pushing. Two forty tickets. Two four zero for uh, Ghost. <clears throat> Two ten on the side of the red coats. It's only thirty ticket difference. Yeah, thank you so much. I can hear myself in. Ghost threatening that uh, the red coats fob pretty hard right here. Like I said, spawning on that fob down south on south of the river that they had and pushing north into that field. Um, yeah, it's a very precarious position for, for Red Coast to try yeah. to defend that fob and try and press that objective at the same time. Kind of puts them in a bad spot. Unless they dug that fob. I don't see it. Yo, they're behind the old black, they're to the west. Yeah, Yo, somebody the west died on the fob. Fucking... Redcoats taking down the enemy, the they're on the enemy fob to the south. Joe's calling it up right now. Because just one, he says. Yo, when did you see a couple guys? That was fucking F. Near yep, see fucking Key and a couple of the ghost guys coming back down south right now to try to stop that fob from being taken. Yeah, it's Grumpy and Deffy down here. Yep. I didn't dig it. I think Red Coast moved their fob up in Gulf but 5. They, they I don't are see on the it. Fob yourself, so be careful. Yeah, Gash yeah, calling up. In west. But he's on their fob. Hemp fob. Okay, so keep on. You hold west. You hold west. I'm pulling back with Copy. two to get fob. We're going to take fob. We're going to right fob. now coming in to try and save it. Panic right now, Deffy's trying to dig that fob up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he might get it, they might, he's probably gonna stop it here. If they don't have somebody trying to defend that. Yep, Grumpy there he goes. goes down. Like, oh, it's one for one. Deffy might, he's probably not gonna be able to stop it. I have no That's two on one here. You get safe from Ghost, you just do a frag in. If he's just waiting. Uh, Wait for the smoke. Oh, if I was fifty shades there, I'd throw a grenade he's right through that window. He's coming from north of the point. Oh, he gets some. Fucking can't be goes oh! oh. God damn it. You and a team me. kill there for goes. <laughs> yeah, Shot him in the back of the head. <laughs> They're still able to hold that fob though. There you can see. Barely. Big spawn coming in there. Yeah, very close. Red, red's almost had that fob there. Yep. That's enough to pull some resources off of Hemp Farm. Red Coast looks like they're pushing Ghost down really hard on the Hemp Farm. So I've got 10 Let's seconds. see if they can get back in there. Pretty good reaction from Ghost, though. Get back down there, down south really Yo, quick. just fucking push. They're lucky they had some guys that had a uh, key in them nearby able to go back there and stop that. Yeah. Any longer, they were, they were going to take that fop down. They were Damn, very lucky they had people nearby. Uh, constant fire, but we got it. 227 for Ghost. Point. Yeah, 187 for Red Coats. Their shit and just go right for the, the cap. Red Coats pushing in now to Hemp Farm. Pretty decent size. Not too many Ghost guys remaining here on the objective. Most of them spawning there on that southern fob. A lot of smoke going in.
kind of indicative of push. He starts seeing a lot of smoke being thrown in, just kind of <laughs> turns things into a bloodbath. Yeah. Yeah. Gas. Careful. Yeah, we're surrounded. We're surrounded. We don't have. Okay, Rascal, listen, I can assist him if you go for a fob in the north, or vice versa, you choose. Roger, Roger. Hey, I'm going fucking north. Gil's making a push towards the attack flag right now. Hero, I hear one outside. He's in the murder hole. No spawn support whatsoever, yep. It's a good I'm thing, I just noticed that as well. Just cover Pity, drop them a flash support. Flash oh, I'll watch it, I'll watch the door. Get Gash's guys back, because he said there's only two. He also make it a push towards the checkpoint right now. Completely undefended, nobody there. Do you need it? Do you need it? Like, real bad? One of the Red Coats went down by, uh, Better by Prowler and Trust. Um, the guy's pushing towards the checkpoint right now, so Gash, I'm sure he called up already saying, Hey, you know, we got enemies pushing towards the checkpoint. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, that's what we're doing. It's yeah. looking like Red Coats don't have any kind of spawn support back this far back field. Yep. So, I got a couple guys, looks like coming from Maine. They're definitely not gonna make it to checkpoint in time before it gets neutralized. Ghost, still no flops whatsoever, they're running off purely rallyers right now. So in for yeah, we'll somebody, I'm guessing it's gonna be squad one. All over hemp farm. Yeah, Fiddy's yep. coming. Let's just turn up, cleared out hemp farm. We need a fog. Let's... Yeah, Fiddy, we're gonna we get a fob. There's still no spawn support for a ghost right now. Yeah, we're gonna get a fob. Okay, just okay. Chill. Yeah, I know. We're gonna assist, we're gonna assist cat. Ghost, nobody from Ghost on checkpoint, and I sh sh Red Coast should City be capping hemp farm right now. Side. Some in the hemp too. See, Ghost is- they're dropping a fob north of the attack point at checkpoint to push that point. Fob down. One in the second story. Might get a double neutral situation here, because there's nobody from Red Coast back there at checkpoint to defend. So Fiddy's gonna be okay just holding that flag till we can cap it. Insurgent. Yeah, you need to well, well, You you fall back. We're capping we, we are now. going to assist cap. We're going to Copy. assist cap. Yeah, we're capping. Some guys need to go back. Copy, I'm sending some guys oh, back. Very interesting situation here. Yep. This might be double neutral here. Yeah, we'll see. These ghost guys break sure, it off. Yeah, there's nobody left on hemp, and hemp's being neutralized, and uh, checkpoints being neutralized. Yep. And it's Wooly. Looks like Wooly's gonna be the first red inside that cap. I mean, he's gonna probably send that information back out to the team. Like, uh, we're almost neutral here. Yep. It's looking like Red Coast might find that Scavy might find that uh, ghost fob just to the north of checkpoint as well. He swung wide. Yeah, I see. He's gonna find it. Yep. That's gonna set up some alarms there. Yeah, I'm sure he's within radius there. He actually, oh, you know what? Actually, he's got eyes on it. Scavy's actually watching it. Yep, I can see Wooly pulling up now. Help him dig that up, but a lot of bodies from Ghost descending here on Hemp Farm. A lot of reds yep. up, so this is going to get bloody inside Hemp Farm. They're hoping to cap that point. They're, it's going to be a double neutral. The uh, checkpoint's going to go neutral. I can see a small little ninja cap squad out to the west on Grape Farm. Red Coast going for the very slick, out of nowhere cap here. If Ghost can capture uh, neutralized checkpoint time and rush enough guys into Hemp Farm to stop that, it might be very, very close. Get him up, get him up. Yeah, I'm on him. Gavi and them digging that fob up. Ghost sending two guys north on checkpoint to stop that fob from going down. See if they learned the lesson from the last time. Yo, tell, tell Hero to go for me. Tell, tell Hero to yeah, go for there me. There you go. Double neutral. Copy. Red's taking a beating in Hemp Farm now. Yep, Scavi and Wooly uh, getting attacked on that, in that ghost fob. And they're down. Okay, He's I, coming. I think we can get this.
two one three for ghost. We're capping back. We're capping back. They're capping camp farm back. Apparently, yep. It sounds like we're gonna move this fob and put it on fucking point and fob it. Fucking do it, mate. Say that again. Do it. Yeah. How's our tickets for red coats? I was saying 158 currently. Okay. Don't let dreams be dreams, rascal. Spawning north edge of the map, north edge of the map. Yo, fob that point, fuck it. Yo, Q, is that? We're good, we're I good, we're good. Back on the point, yeah? Medic, 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 oh, medic, medic. Down. Down. Oh, yeah, fucking yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. get very bruv. Oh, yeah, fucking sad. Up, See you, you cunt. I'll cut you first. Ooh, nice, boys. Uh, ghost uh, neutralizing hemp farm back. They moved that fob uh, north of checkpoint as well. They pulled that thing up uh, since they located it, Redcoats. Uh, looks like Redcoats are. A lot of them are coming from machine right now, trying to get back in to the checkpoint. Oh, you're moving out, alright. Roger. Check the corner right here by me. Fold down. He's down, he's down, he's down. I got him. There's one out to our southwest. Right, ghost dropping a fob on the point in that uh, checkpoint. How's our tickets for reds? 146. Okay. 90% cap, 90% cap. Looks like Ghost is about ready to get this, uh, this cap in their control. Yep. Rascal, if you play something like a dig. Rascal, you have contact there? North, north, uh, east, 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 east. So there they capture hemp farm, and they already have pre-positioned units there Boy, fam, cap that shit, yeah? on their next one, so they yeah, should probably be capping right now at this point. Not too many red coats well. to contest this, it's about four of them I can see. You wanna come play? Cause it Raleigh rest. Come with me, someone. Alright. Right. Fiddy, they're on the northern wall of our compound here. Alright, I can build that, I can build that. I'm on to Captain! 'Cause kicking some guys back into hemp. Goes with a couple guys back there just kinda kinda keeping things under control. Like I think it's gonna be shooting the guy towards the checkpoint now, I think. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of ghost bodies there on checkpoint. Yo, gas, what's it looking like at hemp farm? You you get good, high. we're good, just cap that. They're all oh, over just the fucking place, move. But... Move. Get out of there. Sapuka. 
Yo, bring me a refill as well when you come. Northwest roof, northwest roof. Yeah, Ghost is kind of shifting everything Yo, back up towards the, to the checkpoint now. Not much used to be back on hip farm now, so there you see him pulling everybody up towards the southeast? towards the checkpoint. Um, no, they might be just be hunkered south, down here. Southeast. Vertical's coming from Maine now. I don't think there's any, any flops nearby. Not that I'm aware of. Gas, sweep, when you come, sweep up the river. Copy. And Fiddy, they're throwing smoke from 60 degrees. So I think that's yeah. near you. From Oi, us. You can't, you can't, if you got, if you got time, yeah. Uh, so this is, uh, put your rallies outside it's like Ghost has built their own barricades. So you, can, you can have people lurk around, you know? Like, Turns out to yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, Ghost is kind of, just kind of, um, super far the point to an extent. Oh, and they're just gonna dig in here. I don't think they're gonna push yeah, any further than this. Yeah, we got fucking north, bro. Might be. They're coming in hard from south. They're on top of the wall, uh, southeast side. And they're on top of the wall, southwest. Rascal, go ahead and put that in these boxes. How is it in there? How is it in there, guys? Are you good? It, we're having, we're having a fucking tea Yo, party, digging. sweet. Are we digging or are they digging? They're, they're digging. digging, they're digging. Positive dig. Hey. Hey, hey Ram, there. I'm gonna take the three guys I'm with, Hunter and Fetre, and we're gonna try to get Moss. Uh, That's cool. Fucking go for it, bro. Hashtag YOLO. Yeah, if you can, drop fucking bob in the south, bro. Two hundred tickets here for Ghost. How are the Reds looking? Uh, we're at eighty tickets now. They're coming in southeast. Alrighty. Yeah, pretty much everything revolving around this checkpoint. And Ghost happily defending from the inside, making a making it pretty hard for the redcoats to get any bodies in there. They've blocked off any entrances, and, an enemy fob on us. and those yeah, are pretty high um, right walls. So the redcoats not able to really peer down in there and shoot in. Yo, Tim, tell him to kill one hit him to his east. Fiddy, other side of the wall by the bridge! What up? I'm going to the other side of the wall. Good effort, my son. I'm a trained soldier. Who the fuck's playing music? Oh, it's rainy. What the fuck is that? Again, Ghost is just hunkering down on checkpoint.
They're really pushing out. There's some guys. They had some guys down south that were kind of working their way towards Mosque, but uh, I think they, there was only a couple of them that got stalled out, it looks like. Gas, get your fuck, get your squad. Is Ra who's Rainy's squad? I'm ready, squad. You fucking cunt. What are you? Want? Fucking tell him to stop playing that shit. He's fucking Fiddy squad, not Rainy squad. Oh god damn, mate. I'll get this guy proper rimming around the head. Yeah, one fucking tap. What's that fog marker down south? Which goes kind of shit around on the north side right now. At least they're coming yeah. straight in at him right now. Mate, Hang on. Listen, listen, bro. Hey. Listen. Which goes spotted in the south. Across the riverbed to the west of uh, no, mate, no. Mosque. Looks okay, like that they found it. Don't get them a Fuck off, mate. They might have a fucking fog in the south, but we got a fucking castle in the fucking north. Let them fucking spawn down and give you shit. Let them come. Yeah, right? Yo, I reckon we just go full on push the mosque and tell MV there's movement near him. They do have that fob down there though, still remember. Yeah, Fiddy, send some more guys down there. Yeah, fuck that shit. They might have moved it if they're smart. Right, yeah, mate. we're still getting. We're no, going they're coming from that way. Cat, mate. Full speed of fucking head, we're going in. Let's make it a push out to the east right now. I think they're going to push directly south onto uh, onto Mosque. Let's see if this this works. Pushing Rainy, Saul, and them and Dolphin. Basically heading towards their main. Uh, doesn't look like Red Coast have any kind of spot support, so they're just coming out of main. At this point, though, too, I mean, they might as well just come out of main um, instead of having much of a fob. Maybe somewhere down to the, to the south of Mosque, maybe, but. One nine one for ghost. Uh, we're at thirty four tickets. Uh, Reds are gearing up for a final push out. Yo, check the swords. We've got Ghostbusters There's music playing over that way, and they're around that hmm. area. I see them under the bridge like little trolls. Mate, mate, mate. We going for the fucking last camp, bro. Do it. Oh, I'm coming. Gas hold point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gas hold this. Well, Gas, you know you are my They're sweetheart, in... and I love you dearly. They're at insurgents. Where They're at insurgents. I leave for five bloody minutes, and the room is They're in the north there. side. They're in the <laughs> north side. <laughs> Go, Red Coast going out of ways of glory. Yeah, they are. So they're playing music. Yeah, we got extremely loud That's Ghostbusters they came, theme tune. They knew you were leaving. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Classy. <laughs> Gotta love them. That's, that's one thing, squad. You know, but like, especially these, these clients, too, is having that, uh, that sportsmanship. Yeah. So, people take, take wins and losses in strides. No fools can get gas. I think they're west. Okay. He'll still hold him down to, uh, hold him down, checkpoint. They push some guys at the mosque, but, uh, Red Coast just massing mosque. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 185. Ghost. 24 tickets left. 
<laughs> you make me come back, Gash, all for one person. Alright, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. Paradox, Paradox, are you alive? He's dead. Everybody's dead except for Rainy. Fuck, dude, I killed so many. Watch out, boys. We got 185 tickets. We're going for the fob. Da, Pafaruski. Finished, look. Ghost kicking their guys down south, looking for that uh, their red coats fob. One eight two, one eight one. Ghost. Yep. Yeah, Redcoats That's... really engaged with their no retreat, no surrender push. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they realize. Remaining. Yeah, they realize around over. So. Five or six coming off of it, pushing to my medics what? to I your can't... west. Fuck off, oh, GG. Boom. So there you have it. Lego boys. GG. Yeah. 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 So win for Ghost. They take first in our March Madness Squad League Open Tournament. Our first tournament out of the way. And, uh, yeah, wow, congratulations to both teams, uh, Ghost and Reds, for making it to the finals, as well as congratulations to all of our other clans for uh, for playing and taking part in our first tournament there. It was a lot of fun. We learned a lot. And, uh, you know, I'm happy that we did it. We, we learned a tremendous, about, uh, tremendous amount of information about how to run... Um, leagues optimized for squad and we have a lot of great ideas coming down the pipe and uh we look forward to giving you guys more awesome content um both with some round robin tournaments this summer so just some kind of laid back um plans to come come in and enter our tournaments and just kind of play uh, more casually this summer while we work on development big things that we'll be working on are our website um it's basically a fully featured website where clans can come in um, you can create a clan, register your clan, upload your clan logos. You can assign members um, to your clan, and and we can all start to build this kind of um, competitive atmosphere uh, around this game. Um, so some big updates coming out from Offworld Industries this summer. Um, so you can check them out, um, joinsquad.com. You can check out all of their updates. They post monthly updates and lots of awesome change logs and stuff over there. So big updates coming from them as well from us. So we'll be spending most of our time this summer um, working on development type updates, making videos, and uh, writing our rule books and stuff like that. So we're very happy that we had this tournament, tournament one. Um, it, it shows that there's a lot of interest in competitive gaming for squad. Uh, so we're very happy that we were able to bring that to you uh, both on Twitch and on YouTube. So you can check us out as always, squad.gg. That'll sh um, redirect you to our forum uh, where you can talk with us. You can also join our Discord uh, and talk to us there. Uh, but we're looking forward to the summer. We're looking forward to having some time to work 
um, work hard on the big assets and things that we want to get done for this game. Uh, we want to we want to um, build this build this uh, community just completely focused around the clans uh, and around good sportsmanship as well. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. A lot of stuff uh, coming out for this summer. So if you want to stay tuned for those updates, we'll be posting them as they come about on our forums and on our Discord. But this is Squad League, and this is the conclusion of our tournament for March Madness. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by for all of these streams. And uh, we will be talking to you guys soon. So thanks, everybody, and have a good one.